Okay, here we are, personal selling and sales promotion. Um, let's see. Is that better? It's actually a little better. Okay. So personal selling we talked about in the last section is one of the um, promotion tools. So as I said, it really um, is sort of at the heart of this idea of relationship building and also determining uh, what people oftentimes at the heart of determining what customers consider as value, particularly when you're... Um, we're going to be talking about personal selling here, um, particularly when it's uh, more, it can be consumer sales, but also you know, business sales. So essentially, salespeople um, <clears throat> represent the company to the consumers, and they, they find customers, they communicate with them, they sell servicing, and then um, also gather the information about building relationships. So it also links the um, company to its customers and it coordinates all the marketing and sales efforts. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to look at this at the, um, uh, basically at the um, process of sales promotion and, and that's really it. We're not going to go into too much depth about it. I will say this so that um, depending upon um, what your preferences are and all that kind of thing, uh, sales can be a very, very exciting and interesting and lucrative career for people. If you have, you know, if you have a very outgoing personality and really enjoy being with people and, and that kind of thing. Um, and uh, so it's, you know, it's, there's opportunities, particularly, particularly for outside sales. You know, there's a lot of opportunity for people. Anyway, so um, whenever I do this lecture in class, I always try to um, pick a, a product. So it seems a little bit more real. And uh, so I'm going to do that on this tape, too. And let's go with flour. Flour, like flour that you use for baking. So let's say you're, you are sell flour. Maybe you sell special whole wheat flour and gluten-free flour. So you're going to find out that maybe it has a little bit higher price tag than, than other flours. So you're going to go out, prospecting and qualifying is figuring out, A, who needs your product or who would want your product, and if they can afford it. And it might be in terms of afford in terms of um, the price itself, but also, you know, some places have very specific uh, order minimums and that kind of thing. So who is it that fits into your, in, into, you know, the profile of someone, a potential customer? So you go out and you prospect and you qualify. All right, and then after that, you do the pre-approach. Um, you know, basically, what happens is you uh, find out as much as you possibly can about the prospective customer before making the sales call. So, what kind of you're sell, you're probably going to sell to bakeries if you're selling flour. Um, you know, what is their big seller? What's the history of the company? All that kind of thing. That's a pre-approach. You find out as much as you possibly can about them, and then the approach itself. Um, uh, you want to be able to. Um, meet with a customer and you know know how to start the relationship and get it off on a good foot. It's doing the approach. Then presentation and demonstration is just that. Um, uh, you tell you you tell the story of the product. Why is this why does this product have value to you? Why would this product have value to you, the customer? And you still the tell the story's product and then how that product is going to be able to enhance your the the person to whom you are selling their business. Then you're going to handle objections. It's like, you know, basically People asking questions about, um, you know, maybe changing the product a little bit, or pricing, or delivery, or whatever it may be. And then closing is actually when you actually get the order, finalize the order, and then follow up is the after the sale to make sure that people are happy and um, will, you know, have repeat business. So follow up too, if you remember, when we talked about the consumer buying process earlier in the semester, and we talked about um, uh, what do you call it, um, buyer's remorse. It's where a time that you could uh, try to take care of buyer's remorse or prevent it from happening. All right, so that's it on the personal selling. As I said, we're just going to do a little bit about it. Um, it's important, you know, it, I do encourage you to read about it in the book, but in terms of going into any great detail. Okay, okay. all right, so sales promotion, moving on to the second portion of this chapter. Short-term incentives to encourage the purchase or sale of a product or service. So sales promotion can either be to final consumers, um, the retailers or the wholesalers, uh, business customers for business promotions, or the members of the sales force themselves. We'll go through 
uh, and talk about those. All right, so um, sales promotions increase basically because there's so much competition. I mean, it really is, um, it has made such a big difference, has changed marketing so much. There's so many more products out there, so many more outlets to buy them from. Um, also, uh, advertising that isn't necessarily as effective as it used to be. Um, and uh, people are very thrift focused. People, you know, everyone's looking for a bargain. And who can blame them, right? Okay, so there are a variety of different um, objectives for sales promotions. Uh, for consumer promotions to have short run, short it boosts short run sales, and also to increase brand engagement so that get people interested in the product. Trade promotions are to get retailers to carry items. So um, you know if you give a if you give an allowance or something to a, a, a retailer, um, there might be an allowance in terms of maybe you know money off. They're more likely to perhaps buy the product. And then business promotion is this idea to um, uh, generate some level of leads from people, um, reward customers, I mean, mostly with the business promotions, it's to motivate the salespeople. But also, you know, get leads. It depends upon what the business promotion is. All right, so let's look at some um, consumer promotion tools. Samples. You just think about, you know, a trip to the grocery store. For a lot of this, just so much there. So getting, having people, giving people an opportunity to try the product. Um, coupons. You know, we see them in the paper on Sundays, or they're all sort. They're all, in, and you know, you can get them online, and and um, that kind of thing. So money off, rebates. <clears throat> so you know, you maybe you buy something for twelve ninety nine, and they'll give you a two dollar rebate on it. And what works well with that was when you so when you send your rebate in, you've got to give them your information, right? And so then the um, the company has your all sorts gets all sorts of information from you. When you send in, you know, you have to put in your name and address down so they know where to send the rebate to that they have, um, they, um, they know they have your sales receipt usually so they know, you know, when you bought it and where you bought it and maybe what else you bought with it and, you know, where you, you know, they have some demographic information on you and that kind of thing. Okay, price packs are cents off deals. Um, and then premiums are things that you would get you know, send in X number of box tops and you get a t-shirt or a frisbee or whatever it may be. So those are all consumer promotion tools that people send in. Or, I'm sorry, that people employ. Okay, some more consumer um, promotion tools are advertising specialties. So, you know, trying to get pe lure people in with some kind of deal. POP, point of purchase promotion. So, Point of purchase is uh, also you could say in terms of cash register, or it could be you know in the store itself that you buy a flashlight, they might give you uh, batteries with it, and that would be you know right there at the at, at the at the, it's, the point is like where the point where you purchase it, where is it that you're buying it? Contests, sweepstakes, and games. Um, you know Tim Hortons famously has Roll Up the Rim, Tops locally does the Monopoly game. Um, that kind of thing. So any kind of contests, again, um, encourages people to buy things. And then event marketing or event sponsorship. It's this idea that um, you have people have um, uh, creating a you create a brand marketing event um, to serve as the the sole sponsor or participating sponsor. Okay, and then trade promotions um, are used to persuade retailers. So again, they could do contests and premiums with them, free goods, push money. Remember we talked earlier about um, about uh, push strategy and pull strategy. Um, specialty advertising items, same kind of thing, um, uh, to encourage people to specialty advertising, but maybe you know. We, we can also call it merch, you know, hats or gloves or whatever. That's trade promotions. All right, and then business promotions, finally, the last one, um, essentially um, used to encourage and stimulate um, uh, salespeople. So sales competitions or 
Um, you know, and it might be for an individual or it might be on a, you know, a store-wide basis. If um, any of you have ever worked retail, you know, or even if, uh, um, if you've ever been like a waiter or waitress, sometimes the person who sells the certain most number of specials or the most, you know, bottles of that specific wine during a shift, maybe they get a, a promotion or, you know, if you, uh, or, you know, the store that sells the, you know, the most amount of, you know, Revlon cosmetics, or whatever, might get a, a deal. So it could be at that level, or also it could be um, at a larger level with sales promotions in terms of, you know, the who sold, you know, the most insurance last month or who sold the most whole wheat flour and gluten flour, gluten-free flour to the bakeries, that kind of thing. So it's to, um, you know, motivate salespeople and, and that kind of thing. Okay, so that's really super quick um, and less than uh, just about 11 minutes, less than 12 minutes about um, sales promotion and personal selling. Okay, thanks guys.